Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Blazit channel. I'm Jacob, and I'm a software engineer. Have you ever visited a website and watched as a text jumps around a moment after the page loads? That flicker is known as a layout shift, and is often caused by unoptimized font loading. It's a key component of cumulative layout shift, a critical core web vitals metric that impacts user experience and SEO. In this episode, we'll dive into a great tool for tackling this problem, Next.js's built-in NextFont module. The module is designed to help yourself host fonts, preload critical assets, and completely eliminates those jarring layout shifts. Let's get started. So we have this simple real estate website with some hero banner, and some sections, testimonials, and call to action. And we are going to focus on this heading right here. As you can see in the code, it uses Montserrat uh, font family from Google uh, fonts. And as you can see in the layout, I actually copied and pasted a link from Google font uh, website. And we actually fetching uh, these fonts directly from Google APIs after the page loads. But what's wrong with this approach? First, let's check the performance tab to understand the problem. As you can already see, our CLS value is 0.88, which is poor. But I'm going to show you exactly what's happening. Let's click record and reload. Okay, recording is ready. And as you can see, the first frames shows uh, the page loading. Then we can see the first contentful paint, and we also can see something called flash of unstyled text, which means application uh, already renders the page, but it needs also to fetch the um, fonts from, in this case, Google API. And then finally, when the font is uh, loaded, it can be applied to this text. And this is layout shift. But I'm going to show you how we can fix it using next font module. So first we need to remove this link uh, from our layout. Um, secondly, we need to initialize our Montserrat font family using next uh, font module. And then we need to create a variable uh, with some options that we want to use uh, in our application. So uh, finally, we can remove this style prop uh, from our heading and we can use Montserrat uh, variable that we already create and dot class name. Okay, cool. Uh, then when we uh, reload uh, and record again, we can see that on the first content full paint, we already use a Montserrat font family, avoiding any uh, layout shifts. Um, also, Next.js save this uh, Montserrat font family as a static assets during the build. So that's how easily we can optimize font loading in Next.js. And there you have it. You've just mastered font loading in Next.js using the next font module. Looking to optimize other aspects of your Next.js performance from initial load to continuous interaction? Grab a copy of our ebook, The Expert Guide to Next.js Performance Optimization. You'll find the link in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.